Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. And today I'm going to be showing you the Soul Memo My Vision N16 Bluetooth speaker. Kind of a mouthful there. Uh, the thing about this speaker here, I'm going to tell you, is I consider this to be a budget speaker. At the time of this video, you can pick it up for right around the $20 price point. And I'll link in the description of the video as to where you can get it. It comes in the packaging that you see right here. Just a couple of call outs. You can get it in white, black, blue, or red. I've got it in red. And from a power perspective, what we're talking about is three watts per two speakers, one and two on either end. Uh, from your battery perspective, it is a built-in rechargeable lithium polymer battery, and it's going to take about, from the zero state, around four hours or thereabouts to charge this thing up, and it will then play for approximately three hours. Now, what you're going to get inside that box that I showed you is a couple of things. So the first thing you're going to receive is a multi-language uh, instruction manual, very, very simple, just talks to controls, it talks to uh, basically what your um, speaker can do and how to pair it as well. Let me set that aside. You're also going to get an auxiliary cord, so if you don't want to use Bluetooth, you can do that. And then you're going to get your charging cable, USB to a micro USB on the other end. Here is the speaker. I'll show it to you up close and then we'll take a listen, although it's hard to do listening tests here on YouTube. There's the red grill. I do like the look. It looks nice. These are touch controls on the top for volume, for skipping songs, and for taking phone calls, because you can do that as well. Uh, you've got your on-off switch, your uh, charging cable. Uh, connector, your auxiliary port, and then for a TF card, you've got that as well. Rubber grippers on the bottom to prevent this thing from walking away on you if you're cranking it, and some details on the back side, all in a soft touch package, uh, and it does show some fingerprints. Let's turn this on. I've already paired it, so it's going to take a minute, and you're going to hear the voices mm -hmm. kick on. So it'll take a moment, and it will pair. And then I will demonstrate what it sounds like for you guys. Again, keep in mind the sound may not be 100% accurate here. Bluetooth pairing successfully. Okay, so there it is. It's done. I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music for you. Now, before I do that, I want to call a couple of things out. First off, this does distort at the high end. You're going to see and hopefully hear that bass is not the best thing in this speaker. It's not really represented all that well. You're going to get some, but don't expect much. I think this speaker would really more excel uh, in vocals. So if we're talking about just, you know, your standard traditional vocal songs, then it handles it pretty well. Your highs and your mids, not too bad for a budget speaker. Um, it will distort at the top end. And then what I don't like that I'll demonstrate here is the user interface. Now, taking phone calls, it's fine. I've got no issue with that. But your speaker, the way that this works is to turn it up, you've got to tap and hold and keep holding it until you get to the volume level you want. Naturally, what I'm used to with these speakers, you kind of tap, tap, tap to turn the volume. If you do that, it's actually going to end up pausing your music. It's going to put it back to the beginning. And I've had a lot of struggles with that with this speaker. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to try to turn it up. Distortion at the top end. I'm going to turn it down. It's kind of hard to tell where you want to be with the volume. And this is what I mean is that I find myself tapping it and there it goes to the beginning of the song or tapping it here and it pauses it. So uh, the user interface is a little bit lacking. I'm going to go ahead and turn the speaker off here. Um, but, you know, at a $20 price point, I suppose what you're getting is a, I don't want to call it a throwaway speaker in the sense that you don't have to worry about damaging it, but it is potentially something that you could gift, uh, you know, at maybe an office party and you wanted to keep the, the dollars down or you wanted to basically have something in another room for some minor music that's not going to be blasting, it might work okay in that type of an environment for $20. So overall, I'm going to give this speaker a three out of five. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers or leave them down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.